we don't need to see necessarily with the eyes, but more with the mind and the heart, which is also the bottom line and uh, the mission of uh, Noisy Vision. The expectation is to really be able to create a network, to start creating a network of people that are really willing to spread the information and the knowledge, to investigate new possibilities of dealing with the low vision and uh, of raising awareness. The response is extremely well till now, so people seem like they cherish and like the opportunity to be here and to meet other people from other countries and to exchange, to share their experiences. Create some new ways, some different ways of informing and involving even people that are not partially sighted. We have 16 peoples from over eight countries. Different educational background, different culture, different levels of disability as well. And since we are so different, there's so much to learn from each other. And they're all very motivated, actually, which we found out already in the process of communicating with them. So pretty energetic group. The whole week has been really good, like the workshops have uh, been very uh, inspiring to help people bring out their ideas and uh, encourage. Getting people together who have disabilities and trying to find a way how to get along and to make a community which could improve the living quality of people like us. So I wanted to um, push the boundaries to teach myself that it's not going to stop me and I can still do everything. They were uh, creative and uh, they were um, also ironic and auto-ironic. How we can change the system, what we can do to improve it. to the exploration that we had, exploration of Berlin this week, there were lots of very interesting conclusions about what can be actually improved in terms of accessibility. We concrete some ideas, the more important ideas, to present to the politician people for make this in reality. This is something that should be disseminated across various organizations working on city accessibility in different countries of Europe. We had discussions about how the system works in other countries, how to connect with people, what can I do if I want to start my own organization. Dream about a more visually impaired friendly city. But still realistic suggestions on how the thing can be improved. The main thing is to Enjoy, as I said, have fun, also have a bit of a hope for uh, actually a better life.
And it's great when you uh, with this kind of similar people, like you can just laugh and joke and have fun. I like this too. It's, it's, it gains a lot of confidence for people. I think it builds up a lot of confidence. I hope this happens more. There are lots of other people who need to experience this. I learned a lot from this death. So we have to keep on opening paths, bringing in more people, and letting people know. Perhaps they will uh, form a group, a group of partially Saudi people or an NGO that will move forward and protect their rights and the needs of partially Saudi people.